two high school girls hockey teams battled it out on the ice for the right to call themselves champions. Well, after two overtimes, the game was called and it's got some people pretty upset tonight. News 8's Josh Scheinblum is live in West Harper tonight. Josh, what was it about the game's ending that has people so fired up? Well, Aaron, the championship game in any sports season is certainly the pinnacle of all those games that have been played prior. And usually there's a winner and a loser. But at least when it came to two high school girls teams here in our state, it ended in a tie. And that has a lot of people scratching their heads and trying to figure out why. Well, here's what we know so far. Those two teams that were involved were Simsbury versus the East Catholic Glastonbury and South Windsor teams. Now, they were out there. The game went into double overtime time. We're not sure why the game had ended. We understand there was a boys game that was good that was scheduled to be played right after them. It's not clear at this time if that had anything to do with what was going on. But right now we're coming to you live from West Hartford, Connecticut. That is where Northwest Catholic is and it's also where there's a gentleman um, by the name of Dave Eustace. He's a former assistant coach over at Simsbury High School. He says while this game after this game had been played in the co Captain, or the co-champions were announced. He was receiving calls from those who were concerned, text messages, tweets, trying to figure out what was going on here. We asked him if he could talk to those who are in positions of authority who oversee the Hockey Association, what he would ask them, and here's what he told us. I would say, you know, why, why have a Division I girls' state championship hockey game end in a tie? Um, was there no other way to combat the issue. Could you have gone to the Greenwich boys and the Darien boys and said, hey guys, it's going to be a little while. Those are questions we are trying to get the answers to tonight. This is the story we're working on. So coming up tonight at 10 and 11, we'll do our best and share with you what we were able to find out. For now, we are live in West Hartford. Josh Scheinblum, News 8.